So what I'm going to do in terms of just styling, I'm just going to use a wide tooth comb. And a wide tooth comb is just going to help to separate the hair. Not You could use your fingers as well, but I want it still quite neat, a very smart look, but fairly slick, but not too neat where we're separating the hair too much, hence why we're using the wide tooth comb. So I'll just use that, just comb the hair, bring that round. into the cut so we're just turning that just so that we can actually look at the overall haircut as well because it's very important to make sure that we've actually achieved what we set out to achieve so as you're styling it is wise to kind of move the chair and have a look around the haircut whilst you're doing it get a feel of the, the haircut in the same way that you was doing it when you was cutting it so even as you're styling it's advisable to move and, and change and adapt your techniques when you're doing that also so I'm just going to cross this over now just to get a different look in there just moving that right over and then we're going to move it over again to the other side just to get a different sort of movement in the hair and then just for the sides just to show off the graduation that we've done we spent time doing it the best thing to do is just going to use the thin tooth comb on that just to bring that in from the top into the sides and allow that to fall quite neatly and just comb that out and then just for the, the top at the back just using a wider, slightly wider section. In fact, we'll move on to a slightly wider comb. It's not quite doing what I would like. Just slightly wider. Maybe that there. Now, what I'm going to do, just to have a little uh, effect and just to help with the, uh, the cow's lick, just applying a little bit more product to my hands and then just working that in towards the ends just because I want the ends just to I want to use the weight of the product just to help the hair move so I'm just applying it just to the ends there just like a little click that you would have just clicking that onto the ends just to get the weight and as you see as I apply that it's starting to fall now the reason why we're doing that is because the way the gentleman's hairline is, it's not very even. And as you've seen, we've had to cut back on the hairline just a little bit, just to keep it quite sharp because he has this unsightly regrowth. And what we're doing is just, just to prevent him having to come back any sooner, we're just using the hairline itself just to have that hair, just to hang over that hairline at the front slightly. But then at the same time, we're compensating for the actual cow's lick within the styling that we're doing, just to make sure that the style actually suits and he, he can actually manage it. So when you're, when you're doing this, you just speak to the client, show them what you're doing, tell them how you're applying it, the way that you're using your fingers, the same way that I'm telling you, you explain to the client and whilst you're doing it, you show them in the mirror as well and that allows them to be able to see what you're doing and appreciate what you're doing as well. And that's the most important thing because the only difference between um, you and the next person is basically your knowledge and what you've been able to educate your client with. Another thing that's good to do, just using the tail comb you can actually just use it just to position certain hairs how you might want it that hair movement is you're just using that to style it in a way and move it 